Oh my god, it actually came. I can't believe it actually came. Hey everyone. I just thought I'd do a quick review of Sentai Zone's Homecoming Spider-Man suit. Um, yeah, so just a quick background. I ordered this on the 7th of May 2019 and they managed to get the package to the UK by the 16th. But unfortunately, Border Force has held my package for a week and today is the 23rd. I've chased and chased and chased and they finally released it yesterday and made his way down to me today. So let's crack this thing open and see what's inside. Okay, as you can see, it's all taped up by Border Force. So let's cut this thing open and see what's inside. Um, just to say, uh, this is my second, um, no third, sorry, my third suit from Sentai Zone. So I have dealt with, dealt with them before. And as you always, they've always packaged their suit with two bags. Just for that extra security, I guess. Oh, there it is. Let's see? Oh, initial thoughts. Fabric is a lot thicker than the ones I had before. A lot of patterns. Oh, oh, there's Droney. I don't know if you can see that. I paid um, extra for this one, and um, it's rubber. It's actually really, really nice rubber. It's stuck on well. Oh, and also I bought the uh, the leather version of this suit, as you can see the leather patches here. And also went for the Kung Fu shoes. God, it looks amazing. Oh, wow. I didn't, I did not expect this. I've seen quite a few people on their reviews, they've got just a foam, but this one's, it's, Proper rubber, there's a rubber material. That's nice, I like that. And as usual, this is their thank you card. I don't know if you can see this. So I would like to thank worker number six. Did a fantastic job here. Oh, I also got the eyes. I ordered the, um, excuse me, the eyes separate from the suit so I can put the eyes on the uh, fascia which I got from them uh, before got the Sentai Sony's own fa um, fascia which is I'll just grab it why it's here normally it's all red but I've put plastic dip here so it gives that extra grip so the material doesn't slide around so this is the face shell. Comes with places where you can put magnets. And they've included magnets. So let's see what it looks like. It's a bit small. I can possibly make it work. Have a look at the rest of the suit. Let's look at the hands. Okay, there's the web shooter. And the rubber, sorry, the um, lever goes around. This bit's not a lever though. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I've printed my own web shooter to get in the suit. This is the one I've made. It's actually 3D printed, so that should look 
a little something like this. Once it's on. Okay, so it's been about two weeks since I last filmed. Um, I ran out of time doing the last filming because I had to get the suit ready. Um, it was a day before Comic Con, so I had to get the suit ready, go to Comic Con, and um, I thought I'd do the rest of the review after the Comic Con. But as you can see, the spider is a rubber matte material. It's not going to come off, it's really well stuck on. Um, but there is a slight issue with this. Um, so I purposely did not order the U-shaped zipper that goes around here. Um, I've ordered the embossed spider at the front, but um, for the price of the embossed spider, it comes with the embossed spider at the back as well. Um, originally I wanted this to be just the, fab the fabric and have the zipper that goes up the back, the invisible zipper that goes all the way up to the neck. Um, so I purposely did not order the U-shaped zipper, but because they added this, they had no choice to put, to put the U-shaped zipper in. Um, which meant, during the Comic Con, I couldn't wear this. I had to take the top half of my suit off and then put another uh, jacket on, on, on top. Um, but if I, if I knew they were going to put the U-shaped zipper, I would have added the invisible neck, the back of neck neck zipper, so I can just take my head out and tuck the mask inside the, the neckline. But that's my only um, issue about this. About this, it's not Sentai Sony's fault. It's just what they had to do to put this on. It's because I, I've added the um, the embossed spider. Um, as you can see, it's the U-shaped U zipper that goes from the armpit and comes down just below the, the waist of the belt line. And then it goes back up to the other side of the armpit. And that's how you get in and out of the suit. Let's take a closer look at the, uh, the embossed spider. So as you can see, it's a rubber material stuck on really well, it's not going to come off. It looks amazing, I really like this, I'm really impressed with how they added this. Some of you may be aware that the RPC Studio will have this suit and you've got the slight texture uh, printed on there, it's like that basketball texture, but just looking at this, you can tell it's, it looks like it's texturized. I don't know if you can see that. It, it actually looks texturized, even though it's not, it's f completely flat. It, I think they did a fantastic job of making it look 3D. And as for the blue section, they, did, they also did an amazing job doing the 3D, not 3D, the carbon fiber effect. Super job, I, I, I'm really impressed with this suit. Like I said, I've had two other Sentai Zone suits before, but they're nothing compared to this. This is like a complete different caliber. Right, let's have a look at the shoes. So as I said before, I've got the Kung Fu shoes um, added to the suit. I highly, highly recommend you have this. It's sewn, it's, I think it's, it's sewn in, and then they glued it on top. I don't know if you can see the, the stitching. In there. It's quite hard to see, but um, I've worn this around London Comic Con for six hours, and my foot didn't hurt or anything. And you don't have to worry about the because it's Kung Fu shoes. You can't see your toes pointing up as you walk. It's really, really comfortable. I did not have any pains whatsoever. It's really comfortable for a lad. For the whole six hours I was in there, I highly recommend you add this to your suit when you when you go to check out. Um, it will save you a lot of time. Um, otherwise, you have to come up with some kind of different footwear or shoes. Right, let's go on to the uh, mask. As you can see, I have cut the eye holes out already for the face shell. Um, this is the Sentai Zones 
face shell that they have. Unfortunately, the lenses they sent me did not fit their face shell. It's way too small. Um, I've added the two magnets on there, but unfortunately, that one, that one fits on there fine, but this one could not reach that. So I had to add my own magnet here. And as you, you will see, there is no hole for this magnet and it's too small anyway. But as you can see, this one goes here and this one will have to go on the magnet I've added myself. And there's this magnet spare there. So this, that's what it looks like. So this is what the suit will look like with the face shell on. Um, it, it doesn't look that good because I'm not wearing the face shell so you do get a crease here and there. But once your head is in, is, is in there, this will be filled out. You won't be able to see the, the wrinkles by the eyes. I think it looks pretty close. Um, the lenses are a bit small for my liking. I like the slightly slightly bigger eyes, not not the really big eyes, but a slightly wider exposure eyes. Um, but yeah, really happy with this. Okay, so here are the lenses. They've now changed the material here. It used to be just a uh, like a clear plastic with some white sticker stuck on top, that perforated uh, white sticker or vinyl. And now actually, this is actually a perforated plastic. So these are the fog-free lenses, um, which is amazing when you come to cosplay because the other face shower I had before, after like half an hour use, even with anti-fog applied or toothpaste, they still fog up. These ones, you don't have to worry about fogging up anymore. So you can spend like, I don't know, an hour, two hours in the face shower. Um, yeah, and plus now the, lenses are fog free you also you also get uh cooler air that com comes in here as you breathe which helps so yeah brilliant job sent i say really impressive this right okay now we've seen the suit let's suit up and see what it looks like Right, as you can see, this is a suit. I'm extremely happy with the suit. It's really, really nice. But there's only two minor issues. One of them is this excess material around here. And the second one, the, the worst one, in my opinion, is the hips. I've got quite a, quite a lot of spare material here. It's quite baggy, as you can see there's, you know, it's not tight. Um, but that's, that's my own fault. I sent an email to Sentai Zone asking if they can get the suit ready for Comic Con and I think that's about two weeks. Um, they said they could and they fulfilled their part. It got, to, it got in the UK with plenty of time but it's just held, held back by Border Force. Um, so when I ordered the suit, I didn't give them my measurements. You can have three personalised measurements. You measure everything to tailor it to your, to your body but um, I had a quick measure of the, like their base measurements and to me, my, my measurement seems fine. It's, it's like the arm length is, is, what, is what they said. So I just bought, um, I believe I brought small or medium, hoping that it will fit me. But if I give them my measurement of my, my hips, my waist, my arm length, this suit will be tailored for me. But 
you know, I, I was in a rush, I just, I just picked the default size and this is what I got. But, like I said, it's not Sentai Sony's fault, it's my own fault for not choosing the tailored measurements. But, overall, I'm really happy with this. So, as you can see, Well, that's the end of the review. I hope you enjoyed it. I can't wait to buy another suit from them. It's absolutely amazing. Um, never know, maybe I'll review the Far From Home one. They've got, I, think, I believe they've got like three extra suits in that, in that film, so we'll see what they can come up with. Leave a thumbs up if you did. Leave a comment if you got an idea about these web shooters down here. Okay, till next time, I'll catch you later.